I want to clear something up because truth doesn't need to be trendy to be true, right? I want to clear up this whole idea of being born gay, homosexuality. No one is born biologically gay. And that's a narrative that they lie and dress it up in science terminology. But it's not just a theological issue either. It's a scientific one. Both the Bible and biology agrees. Sexual behavior is shaped by influences and not immutable design. Now, there's a lot of studies out there, but guess what? There's still no gay gene. And despite decades of searching, there's no conclusive scientific evidence for a gay gene. Now, they've done some mass studies in published journals, one of which was found in 2019 with over 500,000 people. And Still yet, there's no gay gene. Genetics account for almost 25 to 35% of variation in sexual behavior with the rest most likely due to environmental, cultural, and individual specific factors. That's a scientific way of saying it's not hardware in you to be gay. See, a large scale study reveals insights into genetic architecture of the same sex behavior in the article that I mentioned here below. Even Simeon LeVay, one of the most well-known researchers in this field of sexual orientation, actually admitted and he said that it was important to stress that the genetic contributions to sexual orientation is not deterministic and people may be born with predisposition. Get that predisposition, but that's not the same as being born gay. And so now we have to go into depth with this whole epigenic 